Hey guys, Al here. Um, you're not going to get to see me in this video because I want to show you, I'm going to do a test. Um, two different soil types. So this soil is actually from a part of my garden that I had used tillage to prevent weed um, weeds in the past. And the cover crop did not fill in very well here at all. So this was straight plug of uh, out of that garden where there was no cover crop. And as you can see, it's very crumbly. Um, the color of the soil is not great. Uh, this is actually an area where the cover crop came in really, really well. Um, I wanted to show you too, which it's hard because of the sunshine today, but this is um, part of that soil, and it started to dry out because I've had it out of the ground now for probably half hour. Um, but you can see the cover crop and the root structure going down. I mean, look how deep that is, and obviously that was cut um, from the ryegrass, or excuse me, rye grain, not ryegrass. There is some, unfortunately, some ryegrass in here, but uh, that's actually from a rye grain um, root so it's really well aggregated soil as well from the cover crop being there um, you know and not tilling this area so it's held together well so what i'm going to do is i have the same amount of water in both of these beakers i'm going to set this down for a second i'm going to have this timer going um, for one minute and then i will uh, comment on what we observe so we're going to try to do this as quickly as possible here i'm going to set the phone down dump the water well Actually, I can probably do it. So um, now I'm going to have to set the phone down because just set it down real quick. Dump the water at about the same rate. Start the timer. So as you can see, I mean, fascinating. Same amount of water. And if you look at the, I'll zoom in here. This is the soil where there was no cover crop. It is, the water has primarily gone through it. The soil's already getting dry on the top and the beaker is filled up. This is the soil with the cover crop. So you can tell here that you're at less, I mean significantly less water. So within 10 seconds, that's where you're at with the water that was dumped on there. Almost all of it went through. Uh, you had about 200 um, milliliter uh, garnered in that soil, uh, which obviously you're gonna lose some then to evaporation. In this same water, I dumped about 500 in there, uh, probably a little bit of spillage on both of them. So we can calculate that in our, in our air um, but in the air of the, the sample test, but uh, essentially here what you have is you only have about 50 milliliter that has come through. So this is why, this is what shows you, and we're at, um, well, it, it's still going. I'll have to unlock it with this. So that was at one minute right there. So it just ended a minute. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't even take that long. It took 10 seconds, not even, to see all of this get filled up. So I'm really, I wasn't sure what this was going to do, but wow, am I impressed. Again, that is the power of cover crops. That's why guys like Ray Archuleta say things like, we don't have a runoff problem. We have a water infiltration problem. By having the soil broken up, or by having the soil broken up through tillage, the water just goes right through it. So if you were to get a hard rain in summertime, all your water and nutrients, they're downstream. Here, the plants absorb the nutrients. The plant absorbs the water and holds all your nutrients through soil aggregates in the soil. Super, super impressed, guys. Hope you enjoyed this short video. I'm gonna try to do more things like this. Um, I'm open to criticism, so please message me, share your ideas with you. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Have a wonderful, safe Easter. Thanks for following along, guys. Be safe, build better soils.